Hello everybody, welcome to a video demonstration of this retro Sharp GF4343 FM and AM long wave radio and cassette player stroke recorder. This is a thing I purchased recently on eBay because I like old items. For those of you who can see, um, it is silver um, in colour and you have got two speakers, one on either side and in the middle is where the cassette goes in. Down below where the cassette goes in you have your mechanism transport controls. From left to right, we have got record, rewind, play, fast forward, stop, and eject. Funny, there is no pause control um, on this particular uh, unit, but there at the top, beside each speaker, you've got two condenser microphones. So this is a, a stereo unit, I believe. Although, alas, I think it's DC bias recording because there's no beat switch um, on the back of it. So that if you're recording from an AM station, you can't easily get rid of the birdie whistle sounds the way you can on an AC bias recorder. Anyway, it's not a bad looking unit at all and on the top of it you have got various controls. We have uh, from left to right you have your band selector switch and then you've got your radio and cassette mode and sound monitoring which sort of widens the sound a bit makes it more stereo i believe <clears throat> then there's four knobs we've got volume uh, i think it's tone and balance and then we have um the tuning knob but we'll try those out um, in a moment. Turning to the side of the unit here, um, we have got um, the headphone jack out, which is a the larger one than the 3.5mm, and your mains, adapt, mains plug where the mains goes in the figure of 8 mains lead. And then on the back of the unit there you've got a couple of inputs you've got your batteries that go in down there and then you've got your um figure um your five pin in plug for an amp and then your microphone jack external microphone as well so indeed um <clears throat> this was manufactured in japan <clears throat> in around 1984 and certainly compared to today's equipment it's very well built I can say you know um, really is like a tank nearly um, not as big as some of the ones I've seen but nevertheless it's very durable and then you've got your carrying handle uh, there as well which you can uh, move up and down and now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to do a playback and recording test. What I did was um, I hooked up um, my iPad to my high quality Sony Mini Hi-Fi system. And I recorded a short sample from the audio YouTube library to try and avoid any copyright issues. So let's press play and explore these controls.
got our volume control there, which is the first knob from left to right. Tone control. And then we've got the balance control. speaker now we're on the left speaker and then we've got the tuning knob about this unit is the playback speed is slightly slow. It was refurbished but um, um, it works well but it could maybe just need a little bit of a speed adjustment but we'll not worry too much about that because I still like to listen to my tips you know and you know it might be a semitone slower but it works well at the same time and um, maybe we can adjust it at some point you've got your telescopic aerial there as well which we'll put up here that's enough of that let's rewind and fast forward all seems to be working good in good quality order. I like the mechanism in this actually, it's very robust. You know, it doesn't feel too cheap either, you know. So what we'll do is, I will do, I haven't got an external microphone at the moment, um, handy to plug in. Um, but we'll do a, a test of the built-in microphone. So what we need to do is we need to press both the record and the play button both simultaneously. Otherwise, the record button, when you press it, nothing happens. It just goes down. So we'll hit play as well. And hello there folks, this is a test on the Sharp uh, GF4343 boombox from around 1984 or so. And this is a test um, on the unit here, uh, speaking using the built-in condenser microphones um, to give a quick test. And then we'll also do a quick recording as well. Um, on the FM radio if we can get something that isn't copyright maybe talking or something um, we'll see what we can, can come up with let me stop this for a second now we'll turn on the radio here the man says something smile as he turns away to sit. Many the sounds is that Cal Laverty used in response a sectarian term, a slur, and as a result, he's been suspended. Right, that's press record and play again. Cheetah cheats when it runs. Oh, okay. Cheetah cheats. There's a tantalizing tale. A dissection 
with surprises. It's absolutely beautiful. I was struck by it as I opened the abdominal cavity. Four animals, examined by Professor Ben Garrett and the veterinary surgeon Dr. Jess French, starting with the cheetah. I'm getting the immediate impression of a butterfly. Can you see that? I can actually, yeah. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Um, so, as I say, this is a quick recording test here, and we will now try and play this back and see what it sounds like. The variable sound monitor that I was telling you about um, that just makes it a wee bit more stereo like and hello there folks this is a test on the Sharp uh, GF4343 boombox from around 1904 or so and this is a test um, on the unit here, uh, speaking using the built-in condenser microphones um, to give a quick test and then we'll also do a quick recording as well um, on the FM radio if we can get something that isn't copyright, maybe talking or something. Um, we'll see what we can, can come up with. Let me stop this for a second. Discovering clues to its survival. We need to explain how the cheetah cheats when it runs. Oh, amazing. The cheetah cheats. Yeah. There's a tantalizing tale. A dissection with surprises. It's absolutely beautiful. I was struck by it as I opened the abdominal cavity. Four animals, examined by Professor Ben Garrett and the veterinary surgeon Dr. Jess French, starting with the cheetah. I'm getting the immediate impression of a butterfly. Can you see that? I can actually, the, yeah. The news. Well, I think I was quite far away from the mic there, so what I might do is I'll try another recording. This is another recording test just to make sure that the microphones are where they are. And I'm going to lean into the device and I'm hopefully speaking close into the microphones now. Um, so um, we will see what this does now uh, as I play it back. The microphones are where they are. The microphones. We will see what this does. No. I'm going the wrong way, actually. Um. Explain how the cheetah cheats when it runs. Oh, maybe. The cheetah. Rises. It's absolutely beautiful. I was. Professor Ben Garrett and the veterinary surgeon Dr. Jess French, starting with the cheetah. I'm getting the immediate impression of a butterfly. Can you see that? I can actually, the, yeah. The news. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Um, so, as I say, this is a quick recording test here. This is another recording test just to make sure that the microphones are where they are. I'm going to lean into the device and I'm hopefully speaking close into the microphones now. Um, so um, we will see what this does now uh, as I play it back. Yeah, definitely DC bias, but nevertheless, it doesn't sound too bad and it's a good machine for what it is. Um, I will use it from time to time, but certainly when not using it, I will be leaving it out of the way so that it is nice and uh, well looked after. So thank you folks uh, for watching this video. I hope you all have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.